Good morning, everybody. It's Armando. Hello. Coming from beautiful UTC, California. There's my van. And today, I'm going to be talking about the importance of dry soil removal is your most important first step when you're doing carpet cleaning. And just going to be doing two rooms here. This bedroom, there's some spots there, a big spot there, and I'll be using my workhorse commercial grade vacuum, probably one of the best vacuum cleaners in the market, in my opinion, and I've used them all, and I'm going to be doing this room, pretty good shape. Like that so yeah very important to remove all the dry soil as you can, as much as you can because that for sure will guarantee the effectiveness of whatever free spray that you apply all of the soil that you take out now the free spray effective on the dry soil that didn't come out uh, especially these little dark spots so now I can concentrate only on the soil that didn't come out with this vacuum so when you vacuum you want to go at a slow pace you don't want to go too fast because you want to give the vacuum cleaner time to work you go too fast like this yeah you're getting up a lot of hairs and things like that but the most important thing that you want to get up is the dry soil that's what you want to get up dry soil especially these areas here It's already looking a little bit better. And that's exactly what you want to get up. Is that dry soil. So now your pre-spray will be very effective on that soil that's still clinging onto the fibers. spots like that come a little bit slower right there which is a lot of dry soil there so you can see it looks a little bit better and you want to go a little bit slower especially in the entry areas because that's where most of the dirt gets caught up on. So when you enter the tile from the tar surface to the carpet, right in this area, that's where most of all the dirt is. Getting the edges, this there. But just let me do this vacuuming first, and then I'll get those edges. room
cleaning company, whichever company, you don't hire me or uh, you decide to go somewhere else, if first thing you should ask any cleaner, carpet cleaning company that you call, do you do pre vacuum? And if they say no, we don't do it, that's a red flag right there. Because any professional cleaning company, pre vacuuming, especially with a commercial vacuum cleaner like this one, when they go slow like this, that is their first step before they do any cleaning, uh, before they lay down any pre spray or anything like that. This is the first step, and this is the most important step. And if they say, no, we don't do it, well, I think you should use your best judgment and say, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so right around here, you want to go slow. much dry soil, uh, danders, the hairs, lids, yeah that's important, but the most important is you want to get up that dry soil. getting up the edges there but just wanted to give you a quick demonstration and as you can see I just did these two rooms only and you can see and it was empty when I first started and look at all that dry that is dry soil it's a lot and this here is what you want to get up you know you want to get all this up because if you don't get this up before you lay down any pre-spray basically you're creating mud that's all going to be mud and I don't care how strong their truck mount is it's not going to get that up once it gets wet into the fibers um, the truck mount even though it puts out a lot of heat and pressure water pressure and, and suction it's not going to get up this and their pre-spray won't be as effective as if you take all this out so now it's just concentrating on on the dirt that's stuck on the fibers so you got to ask any company do you do pre-vacuuming first and if they say yes okay it's pretty good professionals if they say no gotta watch out so anyways just want to do this short little video here and uh, just talk about the importance of dry vacuuming uh, the dry soil removal anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video thank you very much